oh, recording. What is the one dream you've let go of? Seem quite happy with your new job there, Daisy. As a marketing expert, my, my. <laughs> the singing just wasn't working out. Yeah, yeah. You said a lot about the colleagues. It was harsh. Yeah. Well, you were there when um, when one of them chucked a beer at me, weren't you? Oh, oh my. I almost forgot. <laughs> it was... Oh. And they did that quite often. Uh, every night for about a year. Oh, it was time for you to go. But quite a pity. Wasn't it your dream job? When I was a kid, yeah. But, you know, Susie, I... <sighs> This I mean, for the best. Maybe. I mean, beer was quite good for your hair. Look how it shines. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. That's one thing. I, I don't even need new shampoo anymore. Well, now you have to as you quit your old job. Totally. Daisy, I, I need to be honest with you. As your sister? I never thought of you as a person who quits. It's so easy. Yeah. You're right. It, it was your dream. Yeah. But sometimes you, um, you start to pursue your dream and then realize you, um, maybe it's not what you wanted after all. I'm telling you, I'm not that person anymore. Are you listening? Dale, why do we always have to go through? Are you trying to cheer me up? Is that what's going on here? You're trying to cheer me up. You think you're stupid faces. Yeah, here we go. This is serious. I'm trying to tell. I'm trying. Okay, okay. I can see this laughter therapy is going to work after all. I thought it was crazy, but you're right. I kind of do feel better, but I do feel that it's not real. If I were you, I would just let it go. But I really want to achieve it. I'm on level 11. <sighs> I can stay up well, one hour and, and, and then I win. All right, all right, I'll play with you. You know, this is really addictive. Yeah, but what? Ah, ah, no! See, and now you start back level one. 
<laughs> it's frustrating, isn't it? I almost had a snake with 5,000 elements. Well, let's just say that you're not in your element with this game. Are you dragging me down because you want to win? Are you calling me a snake? <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> How many elements do you have? Look, we're supposed <laughs> to support each other, okay? I'm supporting you by telling you what you need to do. Let it go. You're not going to be a champion. How many elements do you have? Why don't you want to tell me? If I tell you, I'm going to have to kill you in this game. Mm. Uh. Uh. So Maggie, I saw your old childhood sweetheart the other day. Tim? You saw Tim? Tim, yeah. <gasps> what? What did he look like? A massive scruff. Yeah, he I mean, he's this... got... He looks as though he hasn't washed his hair for about a month. It's don't always waste, I would say. Um, <laughs> yeah, and he, he's lost all his teeth. <gasps> Tim, with his, his his smile that was like bent for a toothpaste commercial smile? It was perfect, yeah. Uh, that, that was your favourite thing about him, wasn't it? Well, yeah, and his beautiful short <laughs> hair. He, he always looked, you know, very, he's like very polished, like his teeth. And now they're all gone. There's Are about three left. <laughs> Maggie. <laughs> Are you sure it's Tim? Well, yeah, I didn't recognize him at first. I mean, he just came up to the counter at the bank, wanted uh -huh. to transfer some money. Mm -hmm. And he said the name that Tim Gardner. Well, I, I I did a double take. Did you check his ID? Yeah, yeah, he had his passport and his uh -huh. driving license. Uh huh. It was him. Well, maybe it's another Tim. No. He still he still had the blue eyes. Oh God! And I oh, I dream about those blue eyes. I'd always thought we'd have those beautiful blue-eyed babies and this perfect teeth, and then I know you did. Oh, you used to fantasize about that all the time, Maggie. Yeah, I mean, we would have the perfect children. So when I was younger, that's who I wanted to be: Frank Sinatra, all blue eyes. What <laughs> <laughs> happened? Finally, finally, you open to me. You tell me what you want. You, 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 I waited for this 10 years. It was so hard to wait for it. And now, now you tell me what you want. And blue eyes, come on, we can change that. We can change everything as long as we open to each other. That's what I like about you. You're like my Sammy Davis Jr. You always support me in whatever I do. Melvin? You don't love me anymore, isn't it? I do. <laughs> That's what they always say. And next words are, let's be friends. We can level up our friendship, okay? Just a notch. I knew it. It's just because I slept last night. It's true, I did. <sighs> oh, about last night. Well, you always want it your way. Sometimes I want it my way. I'm sorry. Let's just try again. Yeah.
<laughs> because now we, we we start new. Let me try again. <laughs> oh, sweetheart. You're coming to visit your grandma. Hmm. Is it Saturday already? <laughs> yes, Nan, it's Saturday already. But I need to talk to you. Oh, well, come sit down, poor little girl. Huh? And you will listen. Grandma, Grandma, remember, remember how you bought me that little princess castle, the fairy princess castle? Remember that castle oh. you, you got me with the little girls that go inside? Yeah, the fairies and the pink, pink wall color. Yeah, I remember you were so happy when you got it when you're five years old. Oh. Yeah, yeah, and I, I, I always play with it, Grandma. And then, and then Jacinta came over the other day and I told her that I want to be a fairy when I grow up. And she said, I can't. She said, I can't, Grandma. She said, they're not real and I can't be a fairy. <laughs> Who said that again, my little... Jacinta! Jacinta! <laughs> well, that girl has no idea about the real world. She doesn't know, does she, Grandma? She doesn't know. No, because you can be... Whoever you want to be, sunshine. And if you want to be a fairy, Granny will stitch and knit you some wings. <laughs> <laughs> and you're gonna soar and fly. And you're gonna be the sparkly princess elf you always wanted to be. Oh, thank you, Grandma. Yeah, darling, somehow I think knitting our entire house wasn't going to work out. <laughs> I mean, we've just got a pile of wool on the grass. It doesn't look that great. I mean, I thought, I, I mean, look, I love knitting. I mean, it's just I that I just, I, I just decided to just cover everything up. I it's know very you do, Sally. I know, but it's nice when you you know you touch it, the texture. Well, the outside of our house can't be wool, but doesn't mean the inside can't be. Why can't the outside be wool? As you oh. can see, we've just got a pile of wool on the grass. Yeah. That just collapsed as soon as you put the chimney on. Uh, it's uh, We can call it art. Deconstructed art. You know. I, I, I feel like you're not the most supportive partner here in this relationship. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. It's just logical. I mean, we so, want to raise our kids there, don't we? I, I'm an artist, first and foremost. I know you are, Sally. And you're a brilliant artist. You just, your ideas can be a bit out there. Well, Sam, I'm hearing judgment from your tone right now. It's like, I mean, like, I, I make your clothes. I make the kids' clothes. Yeah. I try to decorate the house. Yeah. With all different textures. You can touch them. You can cuddle the walls. I know. I know. I mean, hello, I've reinvented the, the definition of wallpaper. It's wallpaper. <laughs> yeah, look, the wallpaper is fantastic. <laughs> they telling you they don't know anything about art at all, something. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I'm having that... too much drink. Just one more bottle and that's it, okay? <sighs> Roger, they, they just come in so... Sit this not art. 
This is not art, and that ain't no shit. And no, nothing. Oh. I know everybody calls your art shit, but don't mind everybody, okay? Uh, not everybody. You just say that, and not everyone. Well, I said it, <laughs> but I'm your friend, so it's okay. <laughs> uh, are you my friend, though? Are you my friend, though? Really? Yes, I'm your friend, and I'm just being honest with you. Your art is indeed shit. Oh. Oh. See what it makes you feel like? That is your art. I don't like you anymore. It's a bitter pill to swallow, but it's the truth. Oh. Hello in the studio. Our guests are online, the cameras are on, and um, here comes the first question. Uh, dear Miss Mertens, you are the one who sold her right leg for one million dollar. <laughs> That's right. I would like to ask you a few questions about it. Certainly. The first question is, are you still happy with your decision? Well, the Ferrari did break down after a week, but uh, the repairs were quite cheap which is excellent. I've still got quite a bit left. Mm -hmm. So how do, you drive, how do you drive the Ferrari? How do I drive it? Yes. We are very curious. I got myself a diamond leg. <laughs> Oh, and uh, <laughs> this is a surprising turn. <laughs> so, in fact, it's the one I'm wearing right now. <laughs> yes. So, Miss Wang, as you have now three legs because <laughs> Miss Mertens donated a leg for you, how do you feel <laughs> with three legs? I see you're jealous of the diamond leg. Huh? I mean. At least I have a spare. <laughs> this is a surprising <laughs> evening. <laughs> Darling, you are so wonderful. No, you are wonderful. You're the best. No, you're the, the best. You're the best. The mother of my six sons. I wanted to talk to you about that. Reginald, I, I want to disown them. I, I, I don't like them anymore. Oh. Our sons, you're know. fine. You're fine. But our sons, I... I like them very much. You can have them. You know, maybe, no, 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 they need a mother, come on. Not really, I mean, what, what do they do really? I mean, they could just get a cleaner and a, and a cook and um, yeah. some kind of organizational event planner, uh, some kind yeah. of clown, uh, some kind of um, jack-in-the-box, uh, some kind of computer, uh, some kind of uh, doctor, uh, nurse. Um, yeah. They could get a few of those people to do the job that I used to do. Yeah, but you're good at it. But I don't want to do it anymore, darling. Um, um, you, you're my darling. You're wonderful. You're perfect. And, I know, uh, and you're, you're wonderful of my six too. Sons that... Yeah, I. You are wonderful too. I said that before. I love you. I love you. I love you. I just don't like them. 
I just don't like them. I'm, I'm sick of them. They use me and they just throw me out. You're fine. But I don't... No, 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 no. Think about the consequences for me. I, I understand you. But if you, if you just leave them, they will be so sad. And when they are sad, I will be sad too. And when They'll I'm They'll get sad, over I'm it. Not... They'll get over it. You know, like you see the way they are. They get upset. Oh, oh, someone stole my lunch. Oh, my girlfriend doesn't talk to me anymore. And it passes. It just passes. I wouldn't worry. Never does. This goes deep. And they only get over it because you take such a good care of them. Oh, you're so sweet. That's what I love about you. That's what I love about you. I guess what I came across our old high school book. Oh God! Oh yeah, my I was God. having a clear out the other day, and yeah, it just came out of nowhere. I mean, oh my! God. I still remember some of the remarks written on that. No. Look at oh, that. that's me right there. <laughs> I know. Oh, the ski trip. The ski trip as well. You wanted to move to Austria after that, didn't you? So you could go skiing every day. That's right. That was the time when um, I had to change things up and live a new chapter of my life with you. Well, Sometimes um, there are a lot of things that happens in your lifetime that you just give up. I know. I can't believe I try to study maths at uni. Yeah, just because you did well at GCSE doesn't mean you're going to do well after that. That's right. But I think it all turned out well anyway. I mean, I'm much better off now with you rather than my previous life. If there's one thing that I've learned. You, Greg. Yeah. If there's one thing that I've learned all these years is that I may have given up on a lot of dreams, but there's one thing that I cannot give up. And what's that? Well, aside from this, I can't give up on God, yeah. dreaming. We just gotta dream on. You have got to dream on. Yeah. We gotta keep on dreaming. You have got to keep on dreaming. Because life goes on. And you don't know where it's gonna take you. You know, one day everything could just change, you know, like it did for us. I mean, 15 year old me would never have seen us get together. Exactly. Who would have thought that we would get together again from high school and then now we're like, ah. Yeah, and living together as well. Holly? Yeah. Marry me. Yes! Well, it's about time. Am I late again? I'm early. Oh, phew, I thought I was late again. You look very lost in thought. Yeah, I um, I just saw Jim. Jim? Jim with a beard and a beer belly? Your ex, Jim? The one who ran off with the waitress? Yeah, I don't think we had to go that far and mention that, but yeah. Um, sorry. 
the <laughs> yes that that gym beer belly drinking gym yeah used to be beer belly drinking gym now is gym who goes to the gym looks gym. fabulous like a model has a new job has a porsche and is he still with the waitress no is he married he's engaged to becky 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 <laughs> Yeah. All that time that I invested in him and I didn't even reap the rewards of it. Now, Becky is reaping all of those rewards. He looks like a model. So, should we... Should we try to break them up? What are you thinking? Well, I'm thinking I can just kidnap Becky or, you know, Becky can have an accident. Becky could have an accident. You'll never guess who's just moved to London. Kaylee, Kaylee Smart, the most evil girl from high school. Wonderful. And to, th and to think we were going to move there. No, no fucking chance now. <laughs> Not a fucking chance. She's back. Kaylee. No, she's just moved. So there is no way we are ever going to London. I cannot be in the same city as that woman. I just wanted to say we, we should move to London. <laughs> Look, Craig, I know it's your dream, but if I ever come across that woman again, I. I know I'd like want to punch her or something and L London's filled with police. I mean, but they're going to see I could get locked up. You, you get locked up and, and she's there. Yeah. Roaming the streets like she owns them. Re remember how she used to think she owned the place in school? Yeah, she owned all the boys as well. She stole David from me. Let's go to London. <laughs> I'm still trying to fix this. Oh. Oh. It's still leaking. I, I'm sorry, I don't work anymore. It's I served you 10 years. You know, I, I'm German quality. Siemens R1, but no. Well, everything seems to be not working around this house. <laughs> this dream house. I tried my best always to, to make you clothes clean. And I... Normally, I only rotate 1,000 a minute, but for you, I did 1,100. Look, thank you for doing a good job over the years, but I think it's time that we replace you, okay? You're not helpful anymore. I thought you were my friend. There's someone better. I thought you're my friend. Well, I met somebody in Tokyo and um, 
that somebody is very, very technologically savvy. He spins mm-hmm. very fast. It makes my world go the, round. It's not about these outside values. It's about trust and being there for the other. And I trust you and I'm always there for you. Always. You know that. Always. Do you remember when you were so drunken and you vomited all over you and next day your mom came and I did it so fast. Everything was clean. I know. I know. But those were the days. Okay? It's been how many years? You're leaking. Remember no matter when... what button I press, it's, it's do still... You remember when you, do you remember when you did this accident? And you run away, but the blood was still on your shirt. And I cleaned your shirt and the police <laughs> couldn't find any evidence. Do you remember that day? I remember it clearly. You did a good job. And they then, cleaned. do you remember that day when, <laughs> I remember it so well, when when, when Rachel came and you had sex on me with her and I <laughs> I turned on <laughs> the extra mode. My God, you were so happy. Well, because you vibrated so <clears throat> loud. <clears throat> well, anyway. No. Look, La Germania. You me away. Now you want, they will take me into pieces. They will put me into the fire. Look, look, me. look, I tried changing your tubes, but <laughs> not the tube that's the problem. It's you itself. Look at it this way. <laughs> You've had good times, okay? Maybe a last round. The two of us. All right. Let's see. It's all worth this. There. I love you. (laughs) I really love you. (laughs) Oh, oh, oh! Okay, Cassie, I think we need to get everybody in. Everybody in for this meeting. Okay, everybody in. Hello, everybody. Come on. Right, Cassie, tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Okay, okay. All right. That has to go. That energy, that anger, you got to let it go. Let it go. Psyching okay. myself off. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam, you're scaring the other people here. They you're think scary. You're, you're They'll scary. get used to it. You're if scary. they don't say this now, then ten years time they're still gonna be frightened. Health, you're scaring poor Lynn, okay? Lynn is like hiding in the corner right now. Lynn, get out of the corner, it's fine. Mark Mark is Come just join the meeting. confused, you know. You're like this little you're like this little bulldog, so you gotta stop. You know what? Someone better leash. Does someone have a leash for hell? Oh, Jay, you're checked out again. I mean, seriously, do you have a problem with my? With the, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Good job, good job, Lynn. Okay. So welcome back to our Q&A session. Does anybody have any questions about what's happening? This is our open time for the organization to have a talk. Why is that down from the wall? I just feel like um, even though we're objects Mm -hmm. in this house, I feel like we should not be objectified. Mm. I mean, as the electric fan, I'm a big fan of everybody, but I feel sometimes I'm overused. Oh. 
Are you feeling like you're ready, like the protest? Uh huh. Oh, I, I feel I, like I could use some fresh air outside. Oh, oh god, oh god! I, I can't stand it. People complaining and even objects complaining. What is that muffled sound I'm hearing on the other side? You told me to tie her up, so I did. Okay. Um, Does any one of you have an internet connection? No. You're old fashioned. Well, we can bring I, we can bring health back. Now. Let 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 health go. Let health go. <laughs> So what? You've got an internet connection. So what? You reckon you're better than us? You think you're better than us because you have an internet connection and Bluetooth? You yeah, but... always need the internet. Have you ever heard of books? Hundreds of years ago, people survived without the internet. Yes, they have. Thank you for that factoid. You're not well, always reliable. Sometimes you're intermittent and you get frozen every now and then. What? Exactly. The fan exactly. Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. The fan is like, um, you know, Alexa. This an a answers a lot. The fan is called Franny. Sometimes you have to let go. And today is the fan yourself away. Who needs a fan without internet connection? No one. And say, <laughs> we just got offline. It's too we, got weird. <laughs> we just got disconnected. Hey. Um, 